In today's video, I got a 1951 Henry J that's been turned into a pickup truck from the 2024 Detroit Auto Rama. I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll check it out. Tyler. Yep. All right, brother. Pretty good. How about you, Scotty? You look tired. Never. No. No. I mean, I can't believe no. it. What have you done here? Just tried doing what the owner wanted and make something cool out of a Henry J. So somebody showed up and asked for this. Yeah, it was actually kind of a. Uh, kind of a weird deal it was actually one of roger berman's from lakeside rods it was one of his customers and roger reached out to us to see if we want to do the metal work and we're like yeah we'll do the metal work on it so then it showed up to us as a car on a chassis it was just tacked on there no floors no nothing just full of rust and everything else that's good in a car and we just started doing off doing what we do off an eric brockmeyer rendering oh okay that was just to make it into a pickup the owner is a Big time Henry J collector. He has had Berman build, I don't even know, six, eight of them, 10 of them maybe. No kid. And he just wanted to do a pickup truck since Henry J never made a pickup. So we just kind of went with it and uh, it turned out like this. Oh, so, yeah, and it turned out cool. Yeah. It takes a second to soak in, right? <laughs> it but after definitely it soaks does. in, then you start looking at all the detail, then no. What did it exactly start out as? It started out as a 51 Henry J. I don't know their models or okay. anything, but it was looked like a slant back or like a station wagon okay. type of thing. And then what'd you go, what'd you do from there? From there, we started out, it's a four inch stretch on the frame. So we started out modifying the fenders to get the stance and everything like that to look good before we went onto the floors, just so then we could adjust the body on the chassis before we built the full belly plans that are welded. So it's actually a unibody that full frame is actually welded and hidden all underneath all the belly pans. From there, we uh, decided let's just cut the back of the roof off to make it easier to build everything else. So we just cut the roof off of Whacked it and it uh, just started going from there. How hard was it to tie that roof into a pickup truck bed, you know what I'm saying, to make that transition and not make it look like that's what you've done? Uh, you know, it wasn't too bad because we pretty much just scrapped everything and just started from scratch. I mean, we did keep uh, the windshield pillars and the door tops, everything else on it's uh, hand built pretty much from. That rear, that rear roof spoiler, that's your design and all? Yep, yeah. yep, that little kind of a duck bill or whatever right. you want to call it, a dovetail. Uh, right. That was just our design just to throw something so it wasn't just flat on the back of the cab like most pickup trucks are. And there's a ton of detail in this thing. Yep, yep, nope, there's tons of one off machine parts, bead rolls, different uh, gloss, flat paint. I mean, just about everything you could do on one is, right on. is all on that one. It was never meant to be a, a Riddler contender. About a year and a half ago, the owner, we were just in the bodywork stages, said he wanted to come to Detroit. So it was like, all right, we better step it up and start building some block off panels and making everything else more. So you were still fabbing a year ago? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were building all the inner fender panels, all the bumper covers, all that type of stuff, because it was originally just going to get chipped guarded inside the bed and the whole bottom. It was just going to be a driver. That explains why you're tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's not changing one gear. That's like changing five gears, right? <laughs> yep. What power is it? Oh, uh, it's an LS3 uh, GM Performance 4L65E. Interior. Uh, interior, we sent it off to the recovery room for AC Weaver, and he pretty much just did what he does, and that's not talk to the customer and just does what he does best and he just knocked it out of the park for us cool anybody else we need to give a shout out to oh uh, it's sprayed in a one-off color uh, we're just calling it a uh, roasted cinnamon glazerate paint from basf they handled all that stuff for us uh, we just love their products they always seem to shine like no other clears and anything out there right what about wheels oh uh, wheels they're actually a shop wheel we machine custom center caps for them with a little hj logo so that was kind of the theme on it. Since it's somewhat more modern than a traditional Henry J, we wanted to still keep that classic look. So we machined all new HJ logos everywhere, still in a script writing, just to kind of match that. Including the tailpipe and the air conditioning box. Yep, right. yep, that was kind of a uh, last minute, you know, there's holes in the dash and it's like, well, we can't just put a store-bought and AC in there. So we just made up our own little AC vents and uh, 
the tailpipes we machine tips but it was like i don't like being able to look in the tip so we just made the little hjs to sit in there and then they're held in with set screws yeah now when i saw that i was like dude you have you have, you're right there with andy leach and figuring out ways to waste money <laughs> <laughs> cnc and parts and sticking them it's, in the exhaust but it's pipe. not wasting it if people notice I, it. well i did yeah you're yeah. right no it adds to it but yeah. no very cool build on the interior you know dakota digital handled the one-off gauges for us uh, it has full stereo system in it. Pretty much everything on it's been sent to Ogden Chrome to work their magic, get everything uh, dialed in right. Other than that, it's pretty much just Henry Jenner. Right, stock, you know, right? right? Yep, <laughs> Pretty stock. much stock except for all that. Yeah. Well, if people want to follow what you're doing, what's the best way to do that? Facebook, Instagram. Uh, when we do post, we're a little bit slacking in the posting thing. We just soon work and sit on our phones and post stuff on the internet. So. Sure. But people like to keep up with what's going on. They do. And that's revisions, rods, and rides. Yep, and you can look for us. We'll be uh, traveling this summer with this Henry J, then a 68 Camaro that was uh, in the top three for Battle of Builders at SEMA. What big shows will you have this car at? Uh, for sure, Des Moines, Columbus. Probably just kind of hit the majority yeah, of the right. good guys. Yeah, we'll Louisville. be in Louisville, yep. Well, I hope to see you out on the road, brother. All right, sounds good, Scotty. Thanks, Thanks for giving you. me some time. Yep. So there you go, a 1951 Henry J pickup truck. Ended up winning a grade eight at the 2024 Detroit Auto Rama. Hope you all enjoyed it. See Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.